So welcome. This project is to teach you how to use uh, Adobe Premiere Elements 9 and for this project we're going to be doing a job interview tips uh, video. So first of all select new project and then we're going to put in uh, our file name and make sure that we save it to a place that we can get it from next time. The default would probably be uh, what it's offering you to do there, which would be on your H drive. Just have to wait a little while. It takes a while for things to load here. So pick a name for your project. This one is Job Interview Tips. And I'm going to let it save in the default folder. Make sure that you put it somewhere where it's not going to get erased, like in your documents. Say OK. So you can see there's a bunch of video already in here that I've been playing around with. You may or may not get that depending on what computer you're working on. This view is confusing. You're best to just go into the project view, which is what by default is in version 10 of this program. Because I got rid of that other confusing, confusing bit. So now you have your standard set up for video. Uh, it'll open up in scene line. So scene line, you can see the video clips here. You can see narration and the soundtrack. Or you can see the timeline view. So um, I think it's easier to work in the, well, it's up to you. Scene line or team timeline will work. And we'll switch back and forth. So first of all, you're going to get some media for your project. Uh, you can get it obviously from various things like cameras directly by plugging them in and then finding it in there. Uh, for this project, though, I've got some saved in a folder. It's on my desktop, and we'll just use a couple of them. So I need number one, and I'll just pick these three to make life easier for us. And I'll import them. Now you can see I'm back. It keeps flipping back automatically to this view, which is a, is a glitch in the program. So just keep pressing on the project button to keep things straight. So now I can just drag these things down to the scene line or the timeline. So if your clips are already perfect, you can just drag them down. One. And it will make a space for the next one. Let me make a space for the next one. Once these clips are down here, you'll be able to see them play in the output window. Not always are you going to have exactly what you need before you're ready to start. So, say for example, you don't have the right clips, or you're not sure what parts of the clips that you want to use. Say for example, I know the first one's okay, but I'm not sure about number two here. I'm going to preview it in this preview window. window. And this is how we would work typically when we're doing video. You use this window to select bits of your video that you want to drag down. So say for example, I only want this part here. I'll scrub it with my little blue Bar. I'm scrubbing the timeline, that's what they call that, with this blue bar. I'll set an endpoint. Okay, that's the beginning of where I want that to be captured. Maybe I only want to get that part there. Then I'll set my out point. Now I can drag that down to the timeline. It's easier if you look at this in the timeline view, because then you can see the lengths of the clips. You can always zoom in and out using this button. So now you can see that that clip is that long. My first clip is a little bit shorter. It's just a little intro. Now say, for example, I want to grab another part. So next, if I want to select another bit of this video raw footage to insert into my movie, I'm going to go back up to the timeline, and I'm going to set an in and out point.
So now I'm going to grab a different part of the same clip and bring it down here. If I want to bring down more copies of that same clip, I can just keep dragging them down to the timeline. Why you might want to do that, say you had a dance scene and you wanted one to go one way, one way and one to go the other, you could uh, put those effects on them and have people back dancing back and forth or something like that. Okay, so once you've got your clips selected, I don't need this window anymore. I haven't destroyed the original clip. It's still up here. If I double click on it again, just notice that you have got set in points and set out points. So you can remove you can move those to the beginning to set new in and out points. So say you want to grab the whole thing. Whoops. Notice when I do that, if I grab from the end here, I'm actually trimming the clip. So if you trim the clip, it's going to uh, actually remove some of the clip, or it can, depending on what program you're using. This one I'm not sure about, but I'm, I never do that. I use the in and out points, so set out points. So now you've got the whole clip selected again. If I were to drag that down now, You'll see how much longer it is than the other ones that I bought. Okay, so I'll just delete those extra ones that I don't need. And I'll go back and drag down the clips that I want. Like that. And that. Okay. So that's the end of part one. I'm going to save my project, and I've got my raw footage down there. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some editing. So I'll go File, Save. It will save the project as whatever you saved it as. If you want to go File, Save As again, just to make sure, I called it Job Interview Tips, and it's going into my folder 9. Which I don't know why. Call that. Just make sure you know where it's going, and I'll just go save it. And it says you want to replace it. So yes. And that's the end of part one. Make sure that whenever you, before you close this program down, you've saved it in some place that you can retrieve it. And your documents would be my suggestion. Don't save it on a shared drive or on the C drive. It has to be in your H drive. At least a copy has to be there. Okay, good luck, and uh, we'll carry on with part two.